How to jailbreak your iOS 6 device on your Mac with Evasion. Step 1. Head over to our downloads page and download Evasion for the Mac. Step 2. Extract the download to your desktop and double click the Evasion icon. Step 3. If you have a passcode lock, disable it by going to Settings in General, then Passcode Lock, entering in your passcode, and then tap Turn Passcode Off. Enter your passcode again, and it's off. Step 4. This one's easy enough. Connect your device to your computer. Step 5. Now the evasion tool should detect your device, and the jailbreak button should be clickable. Step 6. Now click the jailbreak button to start the jailbreak. Step 7. Step 7 is by far the most lengthy step in the entire jailbreak process, so you're going to have to be patient here. Several automatic steps will now be performed, including preparing jailbreak data, injecting jailbreak data, rebooting the device, which is lengthy in itself, uploading Cydia, uploading the Cydia packages list, and so forth. So if it appears that your screen is just kind of frozen, don't worry about it too much. Just be patient because this step takes a lot of patience. It's going to stay on this preparing jailbreak data for some time. So just hold your horses. Don't worry. Go grab some popcorn or something and wait. So you can see it's already moving. So it didn't take that long. Injecting jailbreak data. You see the screen here in the bottom right hand corner. It's going to actually reboot the device now. And this will take a while as well. Now, if this was a tool that we were really familiar with, we have been using like Red Snow, for instance, then I would skip past a lot of these reboots and things like that just to save your time. But since we're not very familiar with this tool, I felt it was probably best to show as much of the process as I could. Uh, some of the stuff I may, you know, speed up a little bit. But for the most part, you're going to see this jailbreak in its entirety from start to finish. So now it's waiting for the device to reboot. It shouldn't take too much longer on our Apple logo there. All right, waiting for the device to be ready. So we should be almost there. There we go, back to our lock screen. So that wasn't too bad. Now it's gonna to continue to load here. You're gonna see your screen probably go black if you took that uh, passcode lock off like you should've. Injecting jailbreak data, stage two, step two of three. And it's gonna continue here. So it's still working. Just be patient and let it do its thing. This doesn't take that long in the long run. You'll see in just a second here. Okay, now uploading Cydia. Then after uploading Cydia, we should see uploading the Cydia packages list. Now, we actually had a post on IDB explaining why this is done. This actually will help prevent Cydia from slowing down to a screeching halt once all these users hop on board. Okay, time to take our next step. Step eight. You should now see a screen asking you to unlock your device and search for a newly created icon named Jailbreak. So let's do that now. Let's unlock our device here. Slide to unlock. And let's swipe over until we find the new icon named Jailbreak. There it is right there. Now you want to tap on that Jailbreak icon, but only tap it once. Make sure you only tap it one time. It'll go to a black screen just like this and return to your home screen just like that. Step 9. Now the hard part's pretty much over. You'll now see this message that says injecting remount payload. And then you'll see a few more messages here. There'll be Pretty brief. Root file system successfully remounted. Injecting jailbreak data stage 3. And that's pretty much it. Step 10. So now the evasion tool should show a done message. And then your device will reboot as you see in the bottom right hand corner. And it's still rebooting. You can actually close out of the evasion tool now. We're completely done with it. Now we just need to wait for our device to finish up some things. Now the rest of the process pretty much involves you sitting back, relaxing, and just waiting on this jailbreak to complete. You want to see your device reboot, of course. You should see the Apple logo now. And just a few more seconds, we'll be back up and proceeding on to the next and final step in the entire jailbreak process. Step 11. Once the reboot is complete, you'll see the white screen with the Evaders logo briefly appear and then it'll reboot again. And you'll see the Apple logo. And then this is the last reboot involved. So just be patient here. Trust me, your wait is well worth it. Once this reboot completes, you'll see the white screen again, initializing offsets with the Evaders logo there. Finding offsets, cleaning up. And we're almost completed. So this cleaning up process takes just a little bit. And we're almost there. 
Done. Continuing boot. So it's just going to continue on to the lock screen and we'll be 100% completed with this jailbreak and you'll find Cydia on your home screen. So just wait a few more seconds for this to complete. There we go. Back to our lock screen and now we can unlock our device and you should see, like I was saying, the Cydia logo right there on your home screen. Swipe over once, swipe over twice. There we go. That's what we've been working on, folks, getting this Cydia app icon on our home screen. And now you can download all your favorite apps and tweaks. I have sped this portion up because it takes a while preparing file system. It'll go back to your lock screen again. And now you can actually use Cydia to download all your favorite stuff. So that is how you jailbreak iOS 6 using the evasion tool. So as you can see, it also works very well with the iPad mini, the iPhone 4S, the iPad 3, 4, and 2, the iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4th generation, iPhone 3GS, etc. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you have questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And be sure to check out the full post on IDB. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.